and that's fine. Finish Next line, on the tee from Louisville, Kentucky, Justin Thomas. Just 140. I'd imagine this is just a nice solid wedge here for Jordan. Go ahead and hit it. Putt that should be slightly uphill. Going to work right to left. Needs to go a little bit. Okay, solid start. Talking about those trees, it's almost like you're on a bowling alley here and got to avoid the gutters. And this is right, this drifting further right that may find the pine. Can be a chip out. <laughs> well, he's got himself a little window here. He's just trying to creep it underneath that. But that one has got caught up in the pine straw and is not going to be able to make it onto the. Now, Steve from the pine straw. Well, tried to get it through the gap, mm -hmm. through the yeah. pine straw. Yeah. Now yeah. left with a very yeah. difficult little pitch from the front of the green that he made look easy. And he's going to have himself about 10 feet to save his part. Hang very, very low too, which makes it difficult to not only get the ball under the limbs, but to carry over all that pine straw. But this would be some kind of four here for Spieth. Well, this one about 110% better than that last one there for Spieth. This one straight down the stripe. And that'll be in perfect shape there. Back live, Jordan. Yeah, from just 107 of this front pin location, it's all about judging the spin. Oh, <laughs> he almost spun in the hole. How did it not go in? Let's say three quarter shots from if you're hitting a he's even backhanding this one in right here. That's how close it was. Jordan decided to try and push something a little further down there. Players really just try and get something down around about that 260 yard mark and then set up a nice wedge. But he's lost another one out to the right here. Might need a lucky bounce if it's to stay anywhere close to the short stuff. That will be a short side from a very tricky bunker shot. So I'd expect this one to be a little bit past, a bit deep. Hit towards the fat part of the green. Nicely done there for Jordan Spieth. He is definitely now much, much longer. I'm not sure exactly what the statistics would say, but as we watch this putt come down the hill, it'll gather a little bit of speed as it breaks off to the left. <laughs> it's that club that we just love, don't we? Boy, oh boy. Something to be said for knowing what you have to do and then being able to do it. Spieth at 14. Well, he knows what he's doing. He's playing away from that water, safely left to the pin. And that's a good smart shot, especially when you've got a putter that's red hot like Jordan Spieth has at the moment. Pretty pristine. Well, Spieth's got himself a little bit of a double breaker here. We'll want to swing back a little bit to his right as it loses speed. Well, both these guys, Justin Thomas and Jordan Spieth, love to hit their putts hard. And if you're prepared to have three or four foot back, that's fine. But you've also got to be prepared for that. Mm. A lot of these guys will have a bit of an idea of what they're in for. And also, too, this fairway just has a little bit of a camber right through the middle of it. Anything coming in there with a little right to left will kick left. Anything coming in a little right, a left to right will kick right. And that one is perfect there for Spieth. Yeah, that's a big change for him there. And it gives him the opportunity to do things like this. Although I think this is a pretty risky shot up over the trees. There are some very, very tall pines there that can just gobble that ball up. And I did not see it come out at all. So I think if he can just have good contact, main, maintain good stable footing, we can see this thing at maybe 25, 30 feet beyond the hole. But he's elected to chew off a little more than he should have, and that one's going to come up short. No, you just never count him out with any mistake, whether it's off the tee or with the pro shots. And good up and down, good par. It's maybe also one reason they're throttling back just a little bit. That pine tree that sits proudly in the middle of this fairway here at this dog leg, par four left. 
is right at that sort of 320, 330 mark. And if you get stuck behind that, you have no shot, but he should be fine. Really just got to control this, the spin once this ball gets on the green. Saw him hit a beautiful wedge pro, a pro shot earlier. And there's another one. Boy, oh boy, that thing looked like it was going to take a peek. Makes a lot of these. And one more. Yeah, that wind where I am standing feels almost back into me at the moment. It should not be there. It should be down and off their left. But Spieth has lost this one a little bit to the right also, coming down very close to that ball of Lowry. May, in fact, get a little bit of a carom off the slope at the back of the green, back a little bit closer towards the flagstick. Nicely done. Back to Jordan Spieth. Birdie putt here at 17. Yeah, tricky little putt this one here for Spieth. Looks like it wants to go one way and it does the other. And he got on the wrong side of the ledger. That bunker and, you know, I read it kind of pretty straight. Seventy-five yards to be exact. So anything that is pulled with a little bit of heat could definitely run into that water with the help today. Perfect. Another one just going through there now. As Spieth has 177 to this back pin location, tucked all the way in the back right-hand side. I couldn't imagine this would be more than just a driving range nine iron for Jordan. And as we have come to expect, very aggressive. But there is a little bunker beyond there. I would think this one is very doable. Not that difficult shot. A little bit of downslope off the edge of the green. Go in. Go in. Go in. It's just a clinic watching him. Just incredible to watch. But again, like we said, a little bit into the wind, helpful. A little bit uphill, helpful, but still perfectly executed. Made it look really easy. I love how wide he gets in the bunkers. I mean, everything about how he sets up. Definitely wind conditions have definitely picked up in the last hour or so. This one on a more conventional flight, got it up a little bit more above the tree line. And that one down the left-hand side, he's going to have to have a little bit of tree trouble, try and hook something around there, which shouldn't be hard for him. Now Spieth is far enough Spieth down for there. His that, second. Yeah, I'm sorry, John. He's far enough down where that he can actually take it in under that tree and try and hook it around. But this one's carrying a bit of heat. That one's going to get all the way to the back right corner of that green. It's going to be a lengthy one. But the price was paid off the tee. Just got to give this a little more than you might think. Boy, good solid roll. You see him just about eight to eight to ten inches there past the hole. Good pace. It's ideal, isn't it? Definitely got that new move, that sort of motion from the top, trying to get him out of being in that stuck position. This one out to the right, getting pushed a little bit further to the right-hand side. Spectators may have to just jump out of the way a little bit, but that stays inside. Second plane, about a fifth of a stroke under par and you see that again that rehearsal oh speed on the way well that was an attempt at a layup <laughs> it's an old saying if you're going to lay up lay up and that one clipped the oak trees early and then it's come through those oaks and pines so just out of position there well that is very well said indeed and i would have thought that maybe taking the greens books away from some of these players might have actually helped them billy into and from the left for these players into this long par four and this one an absolute ripper down the right hand side is trying to turn back but the wind's got it and that may also find the Shelley area up the right side of the fairway here at three to this sort of middle left back pin location 20 on and four off the left and you can hear there he has hit it fat and this is going to come up way short of the green in fact in the bunker it pops out of its plug mark Jordan Spieth at the third in trouble. This is his third shot at the par four. Yeah, this is a tricky one here. He's going to have to get this one to run up to the spine, but he elected to fly that all the way past the pin. Tried to pull the chain on it, but didn't quite get it. A scrambling par maybe here for Jordan. Yeah, tricky putt this one. Looks like it wants to go one way, but it'll go the other. This one 
175 today. One on the 14th played 185. And that all three safely aboard. In fact, Jordan might give them all a bit of a look at what it does. Into a little valley. Going to work right to left at first. And once it goes through that valley, it should go back to the right to the hole. It's a pretty good putt there. Won't have any problem cleaning up his par. Well done there. Back up that rise, Kearney. Is it also back up into the green as well in the last 10, 15? Yeah, this has been the club that's been a little bit of a concern for Jordan Spieth today. Hasn't necessarily hit the fairways he would like to do. This one down the left-hand side, turning. Turning just a little bit further left than the ball of Larry. I think that's the firepower. That's the, been the difference that I've looked at with Jordan Spieth. Look how long that is down there, guys. I would imagine this is the longest iron in the bag. He's three iron. He'll just try and trundle something up, maybe try and nibble the front of the green and just keep it to the left side there. And that one is going to come up. Oh, that one might have trickled in the bunker, did it, guys? Yeah, and you can see by those practice swings, that lip at the back of this bunker or the front of the bunker is in. Very makes it difficult, but he chops down on it nicely. Gets it to check, in fact, and that is very, very nicely played from the middle eye. Squizzit able to get it up steep enough to miss that lip to get to this point. Put another circle on the scorecard. I've only had the one, and I was playing Wolf against Jason, and it actually cost me money. And I tell you what, this is going to cost Jordan something big here. This is headed way right. There is out of bounds down there and a little pond. We'll have to wait and see what's in store for him down there. He hits some incredible shots. This one out low underneath that magnolia tree chasing up. It's going to actually get on the green. This one working all the way back to the back portion. That is one heck of a shot. Now this one's going to still be a steady breaker from right to left. And it's on the highest point of this green back right. So this will get have to be attention, pay attention to speed, that is for sure. And he's managed to do just that. In fact, maybe just a little bit too much respect. Slides by on the low side. Okay, four, four for Barry Rosemead. That's the thing, sometimes these players, all they need is just the right visual. And that was definitely the correct visual. This one on a very nice line, also just falling to the right-hand side on the win. And that one may just get rejected down in that the little collection area. Back to Spieth. Well elected to chip that one, which I think was a decent play. He does have that ridge just off to his left-hand side that he was worried about. Would have caught a little bit too much steam if he had to go on the low road. Ooh, he started it right. Colin was absolutely on point inside the hole with some pace. Well, the miss with this club has been predominantly right all day. And that trend is going to continue a little bit. Well, that one's not too bad. It's going to stay on the fairway. Nicely done there for speed. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get one out of this trio on the, the putting surface. Well, make that three from three. This might just get up. Nope. In fact, it's just going to get rejected off the little brow of the bunker of the uh, green side. JT likes to pick it a little bit more. He's a little shallower. Jordan likes to feel the turf a little more. Yeah, I think that's spot on. Yeah, I would say JT's maybe a little more consistent, as you said, on how he plays that shot. Only place you can't go is too far right and get blocked. And this one on a very, very good line. Straight down the middle of the fairway. Will take one big hop to the right. And I think that is going to find the sand trap at the front of the green there with Thomas. Well, you could hear him there talking to no. Michael Grella, saying I need to play it a little bit further to the right. He's worried about that, trying to get this ball up quickly. He might, in fact, hit the edge of the lip. And that one flies all the way to the back. That is just an unfortunate break there. Meanwhile, speed. Yeah, it's one of those you could make, but he's just left that a little bit shy, chipping back uphill into the grain. Not much in this one here for speed. If anything, just a little firm inside right.
Conti from Louisville, Kentucky. Please welcome. Oh my God, it's not off the left. Look at that thing go. <laughs> <laughs> he liked him to go with putter. For good reason, I might add. But then you, it was a cupcake yesterday and it's a beast today. It was handing out aces yesterday, at least one of them. Now we hit the flag there. But then you, you try to. That ball speed, we talked about it yesterday, but 179. Yeah. He's moving it. Yeah, 285 carry. The last one was a fluke. I've got it. The wind, you got it. Oh, uh, what a beautiful line shot by Jordan Steve. That to get to four under, Ned. Little right to left. Ike makes it. Oh. Well, and speed. at that anxiously, but that's going to be just fine. Spieth up the hill, twisting left. Boy, a lot of putts this week have been underneath the line. It's okay. Okay, good shot. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've been eight that one too much. I would. <laughs> and you heard him there say, "It's really going it's left." Really going left? Yeah. Well, we have seen more birdies in the last three groups. I think JT was trying to play a little too much. Especially coming down the hill. Has had some opportunities this round. Missed that short eagle back at the second. That looks like a pretty aggressive line. Maybe just a little right, give yourself a better angle. Good look right there. Just how much that green kind of sits up to the player from the fairway. Settle, settle. Got in a pretty good position. Must be a nice place to be as a coach. Yep. Just polish. Colin Swatton, who's back with us. I'll try and Good afternoon, Colin. Yeah, 
is trying to pull the string and he caught a little too much ball. This is a guy that you'd almost want to count this. Plenty of pace. Very good speed there. He shouldn't have a problem cleaning that up. Well, a much better effort by Jordan. He's going to walk up, tap that in, so he'll remain three under par. Right. Any pars at six, seven, and eight are good pars today. Next to play Jordan Spieth. Oh, that's, oh, that's this brick. ball starts way to the right. That's this is brick. headed towards that big tree. Yeah, that may have found the bunker, I believe. That can be a challenge sometimes to get any sort of momentum on it. Now this ball just needs to sit. Yeah, all in all, pretty good effort from there. Kind of just a little bit uphill to the hole. Quality stroke going to result in a tap in bogey for Jordan Spieth. So unable to get up and down from the front green side bunker. That's a good tee shot for Jordan right at that tree turning a little left. This should be perfect. Now well, Jordan Spieth right in the mayor's office there. That is an ideal tee ball at number eight. Easy to be distracted. I'll tell you what, this is a good shot for Jordan. May need to get down, though. That is exceptional. That's going to snuggle up into that 10-foot range underneath the hole. And Jordan Spieth looking to take advantage of an aggressive tee ball. Just never gave it enough pace. Oh, Jordan, take the head cover off. Just needed to hit it. This one starts a little bit down the right now, turning over. This would be pretty easy. Of course, Jordan has a tendency to make everything look easy, but he's pulled this one. Well, he got it to check. That's the good news. So he'll get a putter in his hand. That's Shane hand, but this is a putt that he's easy to lose this to the right. Wow, did that move a ton from left to right. That bottom just fell off the right edge of that putt. He's going to tap that in for pars. Yeah, this one looks good. Should be just fine. Does that surprise you at all hitting three wood there that goes through the fairways? He's going to have to deal with those trees at all there on the right. And this will be a little bit more with the wind over his left shoulder. Oh, this ball looked like it may have jumped a little bit. Good read by Jordan Spieth. Yeah, this is driver, but boy, this was hit perfect. That may be too much, though. I need to sit down. Well, that was pounded right down the middle. He could fool me, though. He's gone up a little higher. Needs some luck. Oh, wow. How good is that? Right through, right through the tree. You can go ahead and hit this one firmly. Boy, he played so much break on that one, Carney. That is, dri that is driver very low. Oh. That's perfect. No, that's three wood. Yeah, that's I think three that's three wood. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't see exactly. Back there in the shadows, but that's perfect. Whatever it was. Yeah, that's that's over 300 yards there with that three wood. 
pass from Jordan. That just may need to carry just a bit. Sort of blocked out by the trees. A lot of green to work with. A little bit of downslope off the bunker. I would expect this to land a little short and release. Just vintage Jordan Spieth right there. Uh, Michael Grill has got a smile on his face, but that's going to cost him. Yeah, this down the right side, trying to turn left. Yeah, he's going left of it with a cut. Yeah, this cutting back towards the flag. May need to get down. Oh, my goodness. What a spectacular shot. <laughs> That's just what he needed. He needed something to... Very little movement in this. Just hit it firm. That's the putt you dream about as a right-handed golfer. And this up in the air, wind's got this going left. Should miss the green left. Going with putter, and I think he's going to try to just get it onto the green, maybe about a 90-degree angle to the hole. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> it's still really good, but that one went a little harder right than I think he thought and I thought. I thought it had a chance for a second. Guy talking in the background didn't bother Jordan. Yeah, this one flared out to the right towards that uh, native area, but that should be okay. Yeah, that's the proper spot to miss it. No problems there. Back at 15 in the bunker here. Jordan Speed second. Just trying to lay it up the right hand oh, no. side. This is way right, guys. Actually, right of the gallery. Gone. That is over the fence into the compound. Well, we can get a close up. Yeah. Looking headed towards that gap. Needs a little hop. Slow down, though. Slow down. Right at the flag. All right. <laughs> what an incredible shot. Yeah, kind of across the slope. It's going to go left to right. Again, easy to lose it to the right. Keep up the pace. Go ball. Could still see the scuff on the ball. Yeah, just really just inside those two pine trees that are on the right. But didn't hold on to it, but this one should be just fine. That'll help with pace of play, Carney. <laughs> well, this is on a good line. Oh, a little un unfortunate there. That ball hits softly. Uphill going to turn from his right to left. Okay, Jordan Spieth will walk the 17th tee in a tie for eighth. Well, for Michael's sake, I hope the wind is up there. And this is a similar line to what Shane was on, but turning a little left. Big miss there. Yeah, it's certainly it's one that's doable, but the green does run away from him. Are you serious? He is never out of a golf hole, Jordan Spieth. Five under par, one to go. I'm always so into watching his follow through because he lets go of the club so quickly. His hands are so soft on it. Oh, this one should be okay. Might be turning over a tad bit left though. Looks good right there. You know, the takeaway practice pre-shot routine. 
I have seen him hit a lot of shots that he's gotten out of front of. And then he'd want to miss it right here, but he's asking for it to go. Then it works downhill. All the way to the hole. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, Jordan. So Jordan Spieth right there. 68, five under, four back. Aggressive play with driver and shapes it beautifully left to right. That's going to leave him a great angle to this back right hole location. Talked about it yesterday. This is money zone for him. Well, that is an unforced error right there. The trick is just the judgment through this first part. That's pretty good, Parker. Pretty nicely judged right there, absolutely. Spieth just cleaning this one up. Jordan looked like he took that one up the right center and drew it back towards the left center of the fairway. Jordan Spieth, really good angle. This one should have a little left to right in it. Started out to the left, cut it back. He's telling us it's going to be in the bunker. Oh, it carried all the way there. Wow, what a shot. From this man. Here he was at the second hole. Nice little pitch shot right there. It's uncanny how many of his chip shots and bunker shots are rolling like putts as they're approaching the hole. It really is uncanny. This third hole is the fifth toughest hole on the course this week. That's not bad right there either. One step off the green. 38 feet of putts yesterday, but a lot of those were just tap-ins after missing greens. Talking to it at all, Lisa. Must no. be pretty good. <laughs> right at the flag. Great look at his hands right there. Little left hand low. Hands are pretty close together though. Takes the putter back really low. Oh, gave the down grain too much credit. Should be absolutely perfect. Yeah, that is absolutely A1 right there. Carried it 299, Lisa. Great tempo. <laughs> and over to the fifth. This is the second. A perfectly positioned. I mean, right there. Take a look and see if Jordan looks at the hole here or if he looks at the ball. He's looking at the ball. Good solid stroke there. Catch that bonker. Get the bonker. 
Oh, it jumped out of the bunker. What a great break. That is not too bad. Yeah, very quiet hands, a lot of body ro rock back and through. The tricky little putt there. Well, Jordan Spieth knows all about flow all over the golf course. Watch. I didn't like it early. It's hanging in there. You never can tell from Jordan because his dislikes are. And so if he's reading this as a putter, I fully trust that this is the right play. That's just an unforced error right there. That was really nicely done. Just don't want to get this going left. Yeah, this is just a little right of the flag. Another quality shot by Jordan Speed. Looking stroke, just just a fraction too high. Oh, this down the right center of the fairway. That flew into the bunker, it came up the slope, and I think it hung up on top of it. Let's go, Forty percent of the time. How about this right here? Took a driver all the way down. Oh, just barely creases the edge. I like the center of the fairway, even right center is fine, but just down the right side. That may need to hang on to catch the fairway. He likes to fade the ball, has been playing the fade a lot. It should suit his eye quite well. Starts at center of the green, asking for it to go just a little left of the flag. To his right, but I think it's just straight up the slope. Can also see Spieth wearing that ribbon as well. Great that CT Pan organized that with the PGA Tour. I don't think that's going to be too far. No, just perfect there, Carney. Left of the flag, trying to drop down to the right. Still hasn't made one over 15 feet this week, huh, Lisa? Has not. Just, it's, it's, it's unlike Jordan, for him, five feet off the putter blade on a 20-footer to pretty much give up on it and know that he missed it low. And this starts center, drifting a little right, but that should be good. Yeah, that was the driver there. Really Got a good. great bounce. Oh, 
this has to come down. This is long and left. Pretty good. Boy, it sat softly, Carney. My goodness. It's a good look at his grip right there. You know, Carney, I noticed he's got a, a newer looking putter grip on there. Justin Thomas has a has a grip that looks similar, but extremely ratty, just worn to the bone. And he's still using that one. Yeah, it's down, but it's turning over a little bit to the left. Needs to kick off that slope. Yeah, he's gonna he is gonna have to deal with those edge of those trees a little bit. It clears the trees. This is out to the right. Does not appear to be coming back. As it gets to the front hole location. Didn't see a whole lot of movement. Maybe a little right to left and then straighten up. Oh, boy, he had the line, didn't he? Well done. towards the left side of the green. That's going to be long as well. Then again, it kind of keeps it from going right once it gets to the hole. Good line here. It's one of his better putts from long range. Brushes past the edge. All right, Jordan gets past this hole. And just want to take this just up the right-hand side. Uh, he's lost this to the right, though. Got a good kick. Yeah, it looks like that wind held it up just a little bit. And he Stays hammered the that right one. Edge. He yeah, hammered that whoa. one. What a hit there, Carney. Try to keep it left of that big, tall pine tree. Clears the trees nicely. Trying to get the ball to curve to the right. Oh, sit down. What a shot. Oh, oh it's just going to trickle over the back edge, but that's going to be just fine. It's all about memories, but here it is. Two beautiful shots. Take it to nine under, Jordan. Now working a little right, but that should be perfect. 170 ball speed with a three wood. Nope, oh, flighted it. Let's work in left to right towards the hole. Sit down. Another he's, fantastic shot. I'll tell you, he's as on as I've seen him in. See, he respects the speed there. Just right of this whole location. That needs to settle down. It does. It falls off right there. Uh, haven't seen too many balls back there today. Into him, landing into an upslope. Plays that to perfection. No surprise. Yeah, it just has not seen any length of putts for Birdie go in. A little bit of rain continuing to fall. Good one here for Jordan. Karn, there hasn't been enough rain today that you've seen any umbrellas go up, have there? I've seen an occasional one, but no, it's it's just been kind of a light rain. Currently two oh, back. He'd love to get one more. I think he likes this. I can understand why. Scaring it at the last. So I 
made 28 feet worth of putts today. I would dearly love this one. For 66. Well, you know, we see, we've seen that quite often from Jordan lately. 68 with the blink of an eye. There's the miss for 66 as we get a second look at it as he just kisses the right edge and then completely rushes it. Again, thinking about that first miss. Kind of shows you where his confidence is going with driver. I think anything pin high or just beyond is a good leave here. Leave himself an uphill putt. Drives it in, trying to turn it in from right to left. Looks about a good way. Yeah, 16 feet downhill coming slightly from his left to right. Adds a little bit more length. And also, too, just creates a different angle from the right side. And this ball for Spieth down the right-hand side, turning back towards the middle. This will be just perfect. Good start. And from 247 yards at the second hole is par five. This one is definitely within reach. He's come out of this one just a little bit. It's heading right. Now, I think that might have come up short in the bunker. Kick back down to this point, so it is sitting nicely. And this guy with a sand wedge in his hand is very dangerous. Memories made. That's why you've come for the Jordan Spieth experience. Take another look at it. We've seen players in this bunker on that right-hand side. Jordan predominantly hitting just a nice little fade at the moment off the tee. This one is down the right-hand side, moving further right. There's lots of trouble down there. Don't be mean, just be normal. Oh, no. Try and get it somewhere on that back left portion of this green. Pin tucked all the way in the right-hand side. This thing come out beautifully. It's overcutting though. Oh, it's spawned, no way. Wow. Oh, we misjudged that one. There is a little bit of a spine that runs through the back of this green, so you don't want to take it too far to the right and too long. You'll have to putt up and over that, and this one is on a very good line. This one will barely stay on the putting surface as it goes up the hill, and then once it gets to the top, boy, it will gain speed and go fast from right to left. Couple of good putts there on three and four. That not necessarily a line. You want to be just a touch to the right of that, especially with that wind off the right hand side to help you. And this one is down the center, good. turning this towards the left side. This should be perfect. Let's see if we can hit a nice little fade in here. Hold the green. Well, this one here going towards the right side, carrying enough steam, gets a good bounce, will it hold? Easy. Easy, easy. It will be just a consistent little turn from right to left for Eagle. The hole! Three straight Eagles on 
par five. Such a great look right here. Right there. <laughs> that wind, everything that is out here at the moment is just coming from that southeast east direction. He drills this one nice and low, moving back towards the center of the fairway. This one perfect. That is a lot of release on the tee shot. Leaves himself 137. Everything about that conversation with Michael Grella was spot on. Going to try and just pitch it a little further into the green, avoid that spine, and look at this thing. <laughs> Sorry, Ned, this putt looks like it's going to swing a lot from right to left, but it stays a little bit straighter than you think. Mm. I think it had his attention. Seventh, seventh today playing 199 yards, pin all the way in the back right. Really, you want to land something in the first third of this green and let it release all the way back. And this on a very nice line if it's up. There it comes. Pure. And it's just taking care of the speed. hit it far enough down the fairway to get it around those pines but playing downwind today off the right I think three wood is a very good choice and where this ball is headed there is no problem that is smoked right there how about the conversation I would imagine this is going to be a nice solid nine iron here for Jordan just try and land it just on the front edge maybe one or two let it kick towards the flag stick on a very very nice line just a touch left Very good answer. So the, it's been a year since the last one. Just keep pouring them in. 22% make percentage on that. Got a 12. Did he get it? Yeah. Yep. He's it's on exactly where he wanted it after. Uh, <laughs> The way he's been hitting his bunker. In every angle that he's trying to hit it, he's actually going to hit the grass first. I think I w I'm, I'm surprised he didn't go b backwards the other way, but he has got yeah, guys. Good he will get a ruling from that marquee tent. That'll bring him out towards where his golf bag is and where that bunker was. Jordan Spieth, see if he can give us a little more magic. You saw his head snap to the left as soon as he made contact. He knew it was in trouble as soon as he hit it. Water all down the left-hand side for this tee shot. Jordan takes this down the right-hand side, is trying to turn back against the wind. He might need a good bounce to stay on the fairway. And that just barely runs through into that first cut of rough. Should have no problem with the tall pines in front of him and off to the right. If he stays just left of those, it's on a very aggressive line if it's the right length. It's going to be a little bit of a swinger from right to left. Oh, what a great effort. Boy, you just have to wonder. If he had birdied the ninth hole or part of that ninth, whether or not that putt would have gone in, it just seems like it was such a momentum killer. He was absolutely on fire. Oh. 
This one down the right-hand side, leaking oh, even oh, further to the rod. It's the right-hand side. There's big tall oaks down there. Struggle to get on the front of the green. Well, this is a long range birdie putt here for Jordan Spieth. You can see the color chains up around the hole there. It will carry a little bit of weight. Boy, that was two great putts back to back there on 10 and 11. Yeah, uncomfortable length coming down the hill. Oh, Finchy, this is oh, sad. unreal. It's so different for him. He only made like 30 feet of putts yesterday. And he missed one of similar length at the ninth. So he bogeyed nine and bogeyed 11 from nowhere. Those big tall pines and, and oaks that stick out on the right side there can block you in a heartbeat. Back into the wind and off the left. He's hit a really nice tee ball here. Down the left hand side there, fading back towards the middle. That should be far enough down. Just a touch to the right. This on a very good line. Looks good for depth too. That's where you want it. Spieth jumped in there for a quick look to get an idea of what it does at the hole. And this still would be just a little steady turner from left to right. Oh, another good putt there from Spieth. He's looking really good from outside that short range. Great speed. Every putt is aggressive. Stay on the right portion of this fairway. That gives them the best angle at this pin location tucked right on the front today. Little clip of sand comes up for that one for Jordan Spieth as he compresses it down the center. This one's perfect. Wind off the left also pushing the ball to the right and a very narrow target just nine paces wide where this pin is placed today and this on a beautiful line right over the top of the flag stick. If he has any chance at all now of contending for this title, he had to have that one. I think there's still a little bit of help there. This one well left. It's trying so hard to move back to the right. In fact, it is. Let's see if it gets also that nice little kick back on the green. Oh, and that needs a little more. Oh. The low point is off to the right beyond the hole here. Watch this pickup speed. Yeah, yeah trickle that one down there nicely to tap in range. No such trouble this time, however. And we see Cameron Young has joined the crowd at 13 under. Can he maybe get this tee ball up the right side and have another chance at making an eagle here on Sunday? This one no, down no, no, the left. no, 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 no. Where did that just come from? Hit a tree. Come on, hit a tree. Oh, it hit the oh, trees not that and way. has kicked oh, a my mile God. left. Oh. Hey, ball, Mikey. Yeah. This one down, and chasing down through is very nice. Look at this is going to finish. Oh, Talk yeah, about Houdini. I would have probably messed way up on the other one. That's back where he would have wanted to lay up if he was laying up anyway. And Colin Swatton alongside this man, Jordan Speed. Yeah, this from 108, looking to take it in a little bit from right to left. Mm. Nice. 12 feet. Back to 15. And this for birdie for Spieth. 11 feet, 5 inches down the hill. Going to move a little to his left. Yeah. Oh, at the last moment, it really did. 
little bit down off his right, like I say. I think this is a good play. He can go ahead, good, good positive swing on it, stay short of that pine tree. This thing heading down the left side. Looks great. Our tracing technology provided by TrackMan showed us that it was hugging that left side, and sure enough, and it did. All is well that ends well. And Jordan in the fairway at 16. Left himself just 95. This is a great number. Come on, he's got to get it close. Oh, big bounce off the brow. A little skinny, so landed short. It's a little back uphill and a little bit from right to left. Oh, no. Pretty much every putting rail on the front side was perfect. Sometimes hitting a wedge downwind can knock it down a little bit. Got to keep this one in the air, let the wind get it there. This one on a very nice line. This is definitely there. You just don't know the green. Well, the first half of this putt is in fact flat, and then as it gets over that little crest, it's going to go to the right. Just got to be firm, inside right, even right center. Okay. Off on a nice line, just a bit le little left of Damon's ball. He, did, he knocked the R and the G out of that target sign. And Joey Jordan Spieth, he'll be taking dead aim. This one's caught up a little in the wind. It's got to get up. Gets it. Oh, he got it. Look at this result. Well, 10 foot left here for Jordan Spieth for a birdie at the home hole. If anything, just a hair from his right. Nailed it. They might lose a bit of yardage with that fade. Oh boy, Nick, that's going to be well back. Yeah. coming from that front bunker. I got smoked in the air. Can he do it again? Oh. Seriously, what a shot. Yeah. Go ahead and put a four on the board. Oh, it bounced. We have a champion. Jordan Spieth is a winner for the first time as a father. He and his wife Annie welcoming into the world little baby Sam. Just last November, so this is as sweet as it gets.